The Sokopilla is a village in the Kherson region, which was under Russian occupation for about six months. The liberation of the village by Ukrainian troops allowed some of its residents to return home. Valery has just come back to the liberated Visokopilda for the first time in six months. Today, the village looks nothing like it was before the war. The majority of its residents, especially those with children, left as soon as the war broke out. Many had to flee by foot, walking for extremely long distances. Не пусти жінок, дітей, ті, що тут залишилися. От він якось вперся, не відпускав, а потім якось ввечері каже, я відпускаю завтра всіх, а ти можеш з сім'єю ходити сьогодні. І ми, батьки, в мене мама геть не ходить. І так страшно було. Ми йшли, і весь час боялися, щоб в спину не стріляли, тому що йшли одні ми. Я, мій чоловік, два велосипеда. Мій папка і мама від інвалідному креслі. Ми довго, дуже йшли довго, і вже смиркалося. Але ми такі раді були, коли зустріли перших наших розвідників, там вони на нейтральній зоні були. Такі, такі раді були, як своїх побачили. Ви знаєте, дивилися на них, як на героїв. Russian occupants lived in Allah's home for several months and then set the house on fire upon their retreat. Він нас як живий наш дом. Ми не просто живі. Діти наші тут виросли, тепер нема кому повертатись сюди. Болячи дивитись на ньому, чоловік, коли приходимо, завжди тут плачемо. Так. Алла's house was one of the gems of Високопілля. Together with her husband, they spent 30 years tirelessly building their home. Це все, що залишилося. Взагалі не знаю, що нам далі робити, як робити. Recently, Russia staged illegal sham referendums in the occupied territories of Ukraine. As civilians were held at gunpoint, Russian propaganda tried to create a fake image of people joyfully and willingly voting to join Russia. However, when you visit the recently deoccupied territories, it becomes clear that the destruction, hunger and death were left out of the picture. No, this panel brought us the guns. Yes, and they were there, that this gallery was there, so they were here to go. No, they were here. They were here at the beginning, they were here at the beginning, they were here at the beginning, they were here. This is Volodymyr's second house. Russians used this uh, home to live, so they left behind their stuff, their clothes. So Volodymyr decided not to touch anything and let locals come here and find their stuff stolen by Russians. But many people were forced to stay in the village and actually survive, while the occupiers looted shops and stole the property of local residents. Some, like Leonid, had no other choice but to stay. He couldn't leave his disabled sister nor carry her himself for that long. Забирали все, нас одягняли, особенно, особенно оці буряти, денеро все так сильно. Now, people believe that the nightmare called the Russian world is finally over for good. Дуже раді, конечно, ми вільні.
Совсем уже другое дело, уже наше солнце не так светит, уже своя же земля, вот своя земля. А мы надеялись, надеялись само на початку, надеялись, что оно будет так, как, как должно быть. По-другому никак, никто и не думал, что будет. Олексій Савченко, United24 Media.